this is the first video on performance testing in which i am going to cover details like introduction to performance testing and its purpose why do we need performance testing in previous videos i have covered functional testing types like unit testing integration testing system testing smoke sanity regression etc i have also uploaded video on difference between functional testing and non functional testing i have explained non functional testing in that video with examples in detail you can find the link of that video in description now let's talk about performance testing performance testing is the type of non functional testing this testing is used to verify the performance of the application performance means the loading speed stability response time how it behaves when there is a huge traffic on the application etc sometimes you may also feel that some websites are very slow and takes a lot of time to load that is the issue of performance and using performance testing we can find out those issues and resolve them this is not about finding bugs for bugs we are already doing functional testing but it is the technique used to analyze the behavior of system under specific conditions for example when you increase the load on application why do we need performance testing the purpose of performance testing is to identify potential bottlenecks due to which the performance is low so that we can improve the quality of product to identify number of users supported so that we can have limit of maximum number of users who can use application simultaneously and what happens if that number exceeds means your application is able to handle 100 users at a time and at some point the number of users increased to 200 then how will that application behave we can identify through performance testing to identify the response time so that the customers can use our application with better speed if the customers are happy the revenue will be more increased we can find out breaking points at what conditions the application can crash we can identify the issues related to databases apis etc we can also find out how application recovers after breakpoints means how can the application automatically recover after failure i will cover further details on performance testing in next videos like what are the ways or techniques to do performance testing what are the key metrics to verify the performance of any product and a lot more things so stay tuned with me and subscribe the channel